right, Jesse, we remain on alert here in central North Carolina. Two severe thunderstorm warnings to pass along, one still going in parts of Edgecombe County. It's a storm that encompasses areas mostly north of Tarboro, bringing heavy rain, thunder, and lightning from Leggett all the way back to uh, really just clearing up in the Rocky Mountain area. These storms moving slowly off to the east. Heavy rain, trouble on the evening commute, all problematic in addition to damaging wind and hail. Those are all possibilities with the severe thunderstorm warnings. Another one that continues in parts of Sampson County. Clinton, you guys are calming down, but strong storms pretty much everywhere south, and it's two clusters that are kind of coming together, so there's going to be a lot of heavy rain and a ton of lightning. Just look at all that. So some tough stuff down in the southern part of our viewing area. This is in southern Sampson County. So those are the two severe thunderstorm warnings. All is dry up here in the triangle for now, but remember, we are not done yet. We are keeping an eye on a line of storms that's trying to put itself together up into parts of Virginia just north of the triad. That's what's going to move through later tonight. And again, there's still plenty of storms just to our south that we will have to keep an eye on as well. Temperatures got plenty hot and humid today. It was our seventh day in a row at or above 90 here in the Triangle. And some of us are still around 90. It's 89 in Apex. It's 90 in Cary up in Durham, also in Chapel Hill. We're 89 here in the capital. Farther to the south, you've got some rain cool air. That's why Dunn's at 78, Godwin's at 82. Fayetteville, you had some storms earlier. The Woodpeckers are back at home playing ball tonight. We'll see if they get their game in. But it's still very humid outside. That is going to change as we head into the weekend. I'll show you why in just a second. But again, for tonight, it's not going to rain all night at your house. But more storms will be passing through for a lot of us. So we'll keep the rain chances elevated through late tonight, even to a few hours just past midnight. And then the atmosphere relaxes a little. We'll stay cloudy. There still could be some regular rain tomorrow morning, but it will feel a whole lot different. That's because this cold front, we've been talking about it since last Friday. I don't know if you remember, but it's finally going to get here in the overnight hours. Not going to sweep through and drastically cool us, cool us down and cool us uh, and clear us out, but it will drop our temperatures and humidity significantly. Remember last weekend, we were in the low 90s. Well, this weekend, I mean, you have to do a second take on this. Highs will not get out of the 70s. And there are tropics involved in one of the reasons why we are changing. If you've been following us, we've been keeping an eye on this system off the coast of Florida down by the Bahamas. Well, the National Hurricane Center now says there's a 90% chance of something developing. Could be a Dorian by the time the weekend is out. And then there's a 50% chance of this developing way out in the open waters of the Atlantic. That one could get a name Aaron, a female spelling of Aaron, E-R-I-N. But here's our complicated weather pattern this weekend. The front will come through. That's one piece. High pressure will send us some cooler air from the north. That's another piece. The third piece is that potential tropical system developing. Not a huge impact on our rain situation, but the flow around it will also help bring some cooler air in. But the fact that it's all mixed in there together means we've got lots of clouds, some rain, and much cooler temperatures this week. And I think by the end of it, we'll all be happy with not being in the 90s and being in the 70s, but you will have to dodge some non-severe rain throughout the weekend. Drier to start the new work and school week with temperatures in the 80s with better rain chances by next Wednesday and Thursday. So our three degree guarantee high tomorrow, I don't believe I'm saying this, is 74. That after day's high of 92, we had what? forecast 91. And that means we're within three degrees and another $100 from us. And our friends at Alan Kelly, we're up to $2,200 for the